integrally involved with Zion Williamson from the time he first started to blow up because you're from that part of South Carolina. He was from that part of South Carolina. You met Lee Anderson. Uh, Lee Anderson asked you for help financially very early on. You were part of his whole process. Uh, Clemson looked like they had Zion or thought they did. Uh, and they did a lot to help try to get Zion. And then all of a sudden, he goes to Duke. Uh, could you just kind of walk through the the Zion uh, relationship and how you saw that, his, his recruitment unfold? I was a regular um, kind of on football weekends, um, you know, down there. They had, a, you know, a bunch of recruits in uh, for this particular weekend. And, you know, they feed the kids and then the kids go play. Um, so I go on down and watch them play and saw this kid and, Man, he's, he's he's not in shape, but goodness gracious, he's got some stuff with him. You know, he's super athletic. He's got great hands. He he uh, he's got wonderful instincts. He, he sees the floor. I mean, you know, and this is in pickup. So, <clears throat> but he's in high school and he's playing against the, the kids. You know, the kids, some of the kids on Clemson's team, and then some of the other recruits. So you get a chance to see him against some guys that are more experienced, and more physical. But he's not only holding his own. He's he's, he's He's one of the better ones on the floor, you know what I mean? And so you kind of go, wait a minute, this, this kid's got something with him. Um, and so I had some conversations with the staff, and they were kind of saying, hey, listen, this kid has a chance to be really special, and we think, uh, we, think we got a shot at it. And I was going to say, okay, well, why do you think you have a shot at it? You know, and so it kind of went through the backstory of the kid being from Marion, which is, you know, a couple of hours from, you know, from, from where we are um, in the greenville Spartanburg area. And but them moving up to Spartanburg to go to to a prep school and his stepdad actually playing at Clemson back in the late seventies. Um, didn't stay, I think he stayed a year or two um, and transferred out, but was was a player there. Um, and so oh, okay, so there's some ties, there's some connectivity to the school. Um, and then again, after just kind of standing outside, running my mouth and talking and laughing and uh, and and again, just ask me. Who, you the guy I've been looking for. <laughs> really? Why? <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, and he said, listen, man, we're kind of navigating this whole, you know, we got people coming at us from all kinds of angles and we want somebody that's going to tell us the truth about how this thing works. And I've heard you as, you know, upfront and honest dude. So would you mind? I was like, absolutely. I have no issues. And that's kind of what I wanted to make sure is relayed in the book is, listen, this wasn't about money. They didn't have any money to pay me. He was asking for my help to navigate a, a process to each young kids and young black kids and their families alive. It eats them up. And they get taken advantage of by putting themselves in bad situations, by signing bad contracts with bad folks. Or, you know, and, uh, you know, I, I had one kid, I don't know what his name is, name, but he signed a lifetime marketing deal. What are you doing? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, right. And so, so that, but that's why, again, there has to be some protections and walls built around these folks for people who aren't just trying to take from them. And that's why our situation was really frustrating because we're trying to give. Lee Anderson was, was not doing well financially with Zion, right? No. I mean, he needed well, help. You gave him some help. You still, and yeah. he and Sharonda mm -hmm. used the system, right? I mean, they, they, they said, hey, make us coaches, give us our team, mm -hmm. you know. And and they progressively got better taken care of as things went along, as Zion's star rose. So it's time for him to commit. Can you just kind of relay how that went down? Well, again, now he committed like right when all the the the, the shit happened with us, right? So <laughs> it, it was kind of simultaneous. Like it was within days, uh, if I'm not mistaken, of his commitment in terms of when we got arrested and all that other stuff happening. And from my understanding, all the stuff that happened to me spooked him. Um, and so, the, it, it, but I will say, Duke was always that kid's dream school. Yeah, you mentioned and that in the book. And my, and my getting to know the kid and be around the kid and his family, he loved Duke. And again, he really liked Clemson. And Lee was, you know, Lee was saying, listen, he is going to go to school where he wants to go. He wasn't pushing him to go anywhere. But he was saying, hey, I'd like him to be close at home you know, good league. He'll be the guy there. You know, he'll be the focal point of the team. Um, but it's his decision and it's him and, and whatever he decides to do, you know, I'm going to support it. And that was the conversation. Well, when this stuff happened to me and my ties to the, to, to the school, I think it spooked him and it made the decision a little easier for him to go to do. But that's not to say he wouldn't have gone to Duke anyway. Um, right. 
but good. yes, I was I was intimately involved in that. To, from going to, uh, and when you say money, I want to clarify. Um, if you read the book, you'll understand it was a hundred dollars. Right. Yeah. It was a hundred dollars. Like I literally came home and told my wife, "Hey, I went to the ATM. Lee was asking for some grocery money because um, he was out of work, and I was like, "Hey, I gave him a hundred dollars." And she was like, "Okay, no problem." You know what I mean? And so I, I went because people have this perception of when you say I gave him some money, like it's always, hey, I gave him a hundred grand, I gave him 200. It was a hundred dollars. Adidas wants to give a kid in his family a hundred thousand dollars and I go to jail. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense. 